If I've been kicking frees all my life, so it doesn't really matter of uh, going through the normal routine again and, and, and kicking. But um, no, it's the, the kick for that is something that I didn't have the opportunity to do, but uh, I'd love to go do it. And there's a few fantastic kickers out there. And I suppose you know, every, every footballer looks at other free takers and compares themselves to them and see how good would they be against them and things like that. So I think it's, it's a great, it's a great, um, great competition. And, uh, uh, it's sponsor something I really look forward to, to, to doing. It's a competition started in 2000. Uh, basically, it's a long distance and accuracy test for Gaelic footballers. Uh, you have to kick the ball through the goalpost, the goalpost but twice the width of a normal goalpost. And if the, your rate of starting with 45 metres out, 50 metres out, and you come back in increments with five metres to the last man standing. I would know Damien Sheridan, the guy that won it last year, and I was talking to him about it, and he said uh, how good a competition it is, you know, and how well run it is, you know, and he definitely he enjoyed it and recommended it. The lads last year, I think it was 65, got it, so it was against the win, but um, no, like they're huge kicks any day, even with the win, so it's definitely something they'd be interested in trying. Just uh, found out this morning that uh, the 72 metres is the record, and uh, I was kind of wondering was there a gale of wind behind or what, because. Uh, I don't think I've ever kicked anything outside 65 metres to be honest, like, but um, that's some good kick. MBNA has been involved with the Bray Emmets Kick Father Partnership for over 10 years. It's a partnership that we are really proud of and to be part of. Um, GAA is a part of the Irish DNA and MBNA has been in Ireland since 1997 and we feel that it's part and parcel of who we are and where we want to be in the future. From all the players I know are looking forward to this weekend. We don't want to finish with just an Ulster title, we want to push on and we feel we're in a good enough position to be able to do that against Kildare but in fairness to Kildare they're going extremely well so it's going to be a tough game. We're, we're confident in our own ability you know, and we know how good Kildare are so we feel like we're in a good enough position to take them on you know, and uh, but definitely Kildare are going to be, they're, you know, they're kind of the people that someone that people didn't want to get in that draw so we're, lo we're looking forward to it too. Limerick came through the back door system, their qualifier system there, played four good games, had a great win over a Wexford side that only lost to Dublin in the Leicester final by the point. Um, probably no one fancied, fancied Limerick to win it. Um, but look, they work really hard, they've improved big time. And it's going to be a, a very difficult game for us um, here next weekend. We're four weeks idle, Limerick had four very good competitive games played. This is our 11th year uh, involvement with, with Barry Emmett, and I suppose we're lucky to have PJ Cunningham, uh, a member in the club, um, who uh, was a well-known Offaly player, Offaly footballer, um, and he um, initiated, came up with the idea and worked with the MBNA, and we have been absolutely delighted to work with them as partners. The event takes place on the 10th of September, Saturday the 10th of September, and um, it's in, a, I suppose we're in a perfect location because we're on the M50, so it's very easy to get to on the, on the northern side of Bray.